Because the vagina is a tube that's lined by non-keratinizing stratified squamous mucosa, you would think that the most common garden variety malignancy of the vagina would be a squamous cell carcinoma. And you're right, it is. Here's a squamous mucosa. Notice it does mature and flatten out towards the top. Uh, notice there's a lot of inflammation underneath. So you would think if there was a malignancy in association like this, it would be a squamous cell carcinoma. Well, it could be, and often there is. However, another very, very type, uh, common type malignancy of the vagina is an adenocarcinoma. And I don't think you have any problem instantly recognizing this as number one, glands, number two, malignant. Uh, and when you see cells that look like this, uh, even if that was the only cell you were looking at in the whole field, you should know this is a malignant cell, as is to cells like this and this and this. This is a uh, clear cell adenocarcinoma of the vagina, a very, very common uh, type of uh, malignancy. I do not know if it's as common as the squamous cells, but it could be. Uh, notice here's another area in which you see the epithelium being a little flatter and the cystic space is a little bit wider. In areas like this, the epithelium is not quite as flat and the cystic spaces are not quite as prominent. In the area like this, there's very little uh, by way of uh, cystic spaces, but I think you could recognize this as being uh, a tumor, a gland, and everything else surrounding it is uh, inflammatory cells and fibrous tissue. Uh, I would like to change my opinion. I'm not quite sure about this. It could be a blood vessel, but some of these cells are pretty plump. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe that is a blood vessel. But there's no doubt as to what this is. This is a malignant invasive gland. Notice how the cytoplasm is very, very foamy and clear. And that's why you might suspect this uh, tumor has got the name clear cell adenocarcinoma. Very common tumor in the vagina. Thank you very much.